Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So in today's video, we are going to talk about basics of clinical data management. And I will be covering clinical data management in six topics where I will be telling you what basically CDA means. What are the different tools used in CDM clinical data management system? What is the eligibility criteria to get a job inside clinical data management? What are different skills apart from your, uh, you know, uh, eligibility criteria? What are the different skills you should be having if you really want to excel inside this field? What is the salary structure at fresher level? And last but not the least, what are different designation and profile name you can look for inside clinical data management jobs? Yeah. So let's begin with this video. So clinical data management, as the name is suggesting, it means managing the clinical trial data. Clinical data means managing the data which is coming through clinical trial. So clinical data management is a process of ensuring that whatever data is collected during clinical trial, it should be accurate, complete, logical and consistent. Yes. So inside clinical data management, it starts from collecting the clinical trial data, then integrating it, and then validating the data. In short, whatever clinical trial data is coming through clinical trials, whatever phase clinical trial it is, it should be consistent, logical, and accurate data. And everything which happens around managing this data comes under clinical data management. Now, it's not just managing the clinical trial data. It also means complete owning of the data handling activities, not just managing. And it starts from, you know, page design. Page design means the case report form in which we collect the data, that designing of that to submission of the data to statisticians, biostatisticians, and in return, they will submit the data to the regulatory authorities. Yes. So guys, data is very crucial in each and every field similarly in clinical trial where so much of data is coming through different phases of trial and that data is required for submission purpose for getting further approvals for clinical trial for marketing of drug so you can understand that clinical trial data is very crucial and also it is the data which is going to impact i mean whatever analysis conclusion uh, you know the industry going to conclude from the data it's going to impact the patient safety at the end of the day so ultimately clinical trial data management is a very crucial thing and has a lot of scope and opportunity also now i will talk about what are the different tools used inside clinical trial data management system so few clinical trial data management system tools i'm going to tell you so it doesn't mean that these are the only tools you can find other tools as well but these are the most common one and very popular one inside industry so these are first one is oracle clinical second is metadata wave third is inform and fourth is data labs okay so these are basically if i have to tell you in the layman terms these are something called software or the database in which we are entering integrating the clinical trial data which we are collecting through the clinical trial sites wherever the clinical trials are happening and inside these softwares we are uh, you know putting the data load, loading the data into these database okay so these are something called these are like softwares which are used in clinical data management now at a session level whenever you are looking for a job inside clinical data management doesn't mean that you should be knowing everything about these database because companies knows that you are a fresher and they don't expect from you that you should be knowing in details about these database but at least if you name few 
and what is the use if you tell that also if you know this also then it's more than sufficient so no need to worry about the database training or software training or exposure that company will provide you then they will when they will hire you in their company okay so doesn't matter if you know if you don't know inside of software you will get the training default by each and every company because see there is even these database there is a no standard structure actually sometimes these database they get customized as per the client requirement so always there will be a training whenever company is going to hire you now i'm coming to the third point that is eligibility criteria so if you are a science graduate simple science graduate in the domain of life science you are eligible now what does it mean in the domain of life science means if you are uh, a graduate bsc in microbiology geology botany then definitely you are eligible and also if you are bsc in computer science then also company may hire you and also if you are you know other healthcare professionals like bds pms bhms physiotherapist nursing graduates they are also eligible yeah and along with that all pharmacy graduates are eligible now if i have to talk who are most preferred one among this eligibility criteria i mean this is the basic eligibility criteria but the most preferred one are pharmacy graduate along with healthcare professionals why because here the data which we have to manage is related to clinical data It's related to clinical trial so many times you encounter many terminologies many medical terminologies clinical terminologies where definitely company prefers people who have some medical subject in their graduation and definitely for that other healthcare professionals and you know pharmacy graduates they are most preferred choice for companies but yeah if you are a basic graduate life science women graduate then also you are eligible people are working inside that also because apart from this main eligibility criteria there are some other skills also required so not just eligibility criteria will help you in getting job along with that if the skills which i'm going to tell you if you have a good command in these skills then definitely irrespective of whatever eligibility qualification you have whatever i have quoted along with that if you have good skills uh, command over the skills which i'm going to tell you then definitely you will be the first choice for company even though you are a life science domain graduate okay so what are the skills so basic it skills which you need to have a good command is uh, excel microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint and word document among this the most fun is microsoft excel because you have to work a lot on excel sheet and you should be knowing the shortcut filters many things whatever happens inside any excel sheets if you know very well this thing then it's always better to get a job other than this you should be having for data management clinical data management you should be having a good mathematics and data analysis knowledge and you should be having a good known clinical terms and function i mean you must have heard and you you must be having knowledge of clinical terms and their functions as well and you should be having problem solving skills that is very much required in data management because there we are mostly using many software tools data management tools that's why problem solving skills is always required so this is about skill part now come to point number 5 which is salary now at a fresher level so whatever salary i'm going to tell you at a fresher level you can start anything between 2.5 to 4.5 now why there is so much variation depends on what is your basic educational qualification how was your interview how was your attitude how much confident you were in the interview along with that in which company you are going to give interview and you are selected because not every company budget is equal right depending on company budget client budget your salary will be decided so at a fresher level you can keep yourself in the bracket of 3.5 to 4.5 yes uh, or 2.5 to 4.5 also not necessary that you may get 3.5 again depending it's very much variable right now if i talk about the average salary of people who are into data management with 1 to 2 years of experience then average salary 
could be five lakhs for an annum. And if you stay in this data management field for let's say around ten years, then your salary could be you know average salary could be like fourteen lakhs to twenty lakhs, anything between this, yeah. So it is not very hard and fast figure. Plus minus is always there. Okay, so that's just an average I am giving you. Average means if I take average of all the people working inside this industry, whatever is coming, that I am quoting you. Doesn't means you can't get more. Doesn't mean you will get this only. You may get less also. Okay, so it's an average figure. Yeah. Now I am going to tell you what are the different designation hierarchy inside this clinical data management system. First of all, you can start with clinical data analyst. Then you can go to clinical data associate. You can go to clinical data coordinator. You can go to clinical database programmer or you know designer. You can also work as a clinical uh, clinical database uh, designer and uh, programmer, which I already tell, told you. And also you can work as a clinical quality auditor as well. Because these are the different designation, and also you can work as a clinical database manager. Okay, clinical data management also we call it as. These are the different profiles as per hierarchy, and uh, you know different designation inside clinical data management. Now, one last I missed was what on companies you can work. Yes. So mostly whatever BPS and CRO companies we have. So what are BPS and CRO? So CRO means contract research organization and BPS means business process services. Like all the IT companies who are into clinical data management systems, they are known as BPS, IT companies. And CRO, contract research organization means uh, the companies, organization who are providing services to core pharma companies for running their clinical trial activities and clinical data management activities, they are known as CRO contract research organization so you can work in CRO or at IT company also yes but as compared to BPS IT companies it is always easy to get a job inside CRO because a single CRO may be providing services to multiple pharma companies and CRO are always bigger than IT companies or comparable also so it's easy to get a job inside CRO yeah so this is about where you can work yes and where you can find job all job sites Nokri, Indeed, Medbot, Swasa also you can get and very important the most important one is LinkedIn which I regularly tell you guys, LinkedIn is the most important because now the way we used to find job is changing. Now the way uh, companies used to give job to their employee is changing. Everything is changing. So please be part of this change and use LinkedIn to most. Yeah, use it effectively and use it regularly, actively. Trust me guys, if you are using LinkedIn effectively and regularly and you're regularly searching for jobs inside LinkedIn, you are regularly connecting with people inside LinkedIn, then trust me guys, no one can stop you. You will be able to find job in any domain. Specifically, if I talk about pharmaceutical industry, you will be able to get it. Yeah. So not just you have to search for jobs inside LinkedIn. You have to connect with, you have to network with people inside LinkedIn. And that's how it works. So we have many old videos on LinkedIn also, job search, everything we have. Go back to our old videos also to just get a you know revision of the things and this video was about clinical data management i hope you like this video and i hope i was able to communicate the basic information about clinical data management and i hope this video answered all your queries about clinical data management if still any query is pending or if still any doubt any question you have please comment in the comment box below and i would love to answer all the queries yes so with this guys, we'll be coming soon with some fresh next video and till the time I come again, till that time, please stay safe, aware, updated and keep exploring new things. And one thing I forget to tell you that if you feel that this content is really to the point and it, if this content help you, please, please, please like this video subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to share with your friends fellow friends 
fellow colleagues who are looking for same kind of information yes thank you all have a nice day thank you